Okay, I've got some dust in the Minolta 50mm 2.8 macro, so I'm going to take it apart and uh, see if I can blow out the uh, in between the elements and just see if I can get some of the dust out. So this is a video of how to get your 52.8 apart. This one's been taken apart before, uh, and so the only thing you might notice is that the red dot has already been pried off. You're going to do this, you just want to take a knife and pry it off of there. And then put it in a bag somewhere, somewhere you won't lose it, and uh, hope no one throws it out on you, which is what happened to my red dot. Um, yeah. Then you're out of red dot. Most of these screws and stuff are different sizes. So you don't really have to worry too much about what goes where because only one size will go here or there. When you take off the contact plate, something you want to be really careful of is the little spring that's under there. It likes to pop right out and it is small and easy to lose. So I like to do that first. You may not be able to even see it. Let's see if I can. Oh, shh. There it is. So, let's see. There is the little spring. The order of some of these things doesn't really matter, as far as I can remember. For what I'm going to do, I'm going to take most of it apart anyway, so, so apart it comes. Your contact plate is bigger than the mount ring. So to get your mount ring off, you've kind of got to manipulate the contact plate so that it will slide through the smaller slot. You want to be really careful not to damage the connectors on it. And there's that. So that's about all we do from there. These are three spacer rings. Real helpful. I don't know if it matters which way they go in, but I like to keep them as they are. Just because. So there's that. And the next thing you need to do, if you haven't taken yours apart, you'll need a knife of some kind to get under the rubberized grip and just peel it back and it'll be kind of sticky under there and it never sticks back quite the same. Okay, moving on. Once you've got that grip off, um, when you put your lens back together, you'll be able to seal that down with some rubber cement or something. Um, there's a set of small screws here, very small screws. Is that in focus? Um, three of them that you have to take off. And then this whole grip is just going to slide right off. Now if you've never taken apart your 50 2.8, there may be a big piece of foil here. A lot of times that'll cause your oops, that'll cause your whole your whole thing to stick and give you really stiff focus. So if you're experiencing stiff focus, this might be all the disassembly you need. You just pull that off, clean out the gunk which may be 
jamming up your these bushings that slide through these grooves and uh, yeah and you're all set if that was your problem or if you're like me and that's not your problem and the last time you took it apart you introduced some dust then further apart we must go these um when you take these screws and bushings out you really want to make sure you have the right size screwdriver uh, because they're held in with Loctite, I think, the first time, and that makes them really sticky. And it's actually, the screw heads are pretty soft metal, so you can actually damage your screw head if your screwdriver is not fine enough to get in there. Or if it's too small, you will also experience some trouble. Once you've been in there once, you should experience fewer problems. This is another one of those parts where the uh, it's pretty obvious which screws go where. You got your little screw, and you've got your bushing. The bushing has, uh, oops, there it is. The bushing has two sizes on different, different ends of it. The bigger end goes near the outside of the lens, and again, you can't really get them wrong on reassembly. Or if you do, it's pretty obvious, or should be pretty obvious. Who am I to say what's obvious? These are not the right size screwdrivers. And with that in mind, we take another pause while I go look for the right. And here we go. Size you'll need for these is a three millimeter. Oh yeah. And out they come. I'd love to say there's nothing that can go wrong in here, uh, but uh, well, I'm taking it apart because last time I was in here I got a whole bunch of dust in there. So, whoops, and there we go. Oh, we are. If you got a lot of sticking or something, it might be in this part. Mine's moving pretty good, so I'm not going to take that apart any further. I'm just going to have a look at this and see if there's some way I can find to blow out the dust. Like maybe right here. Anyway, that's your basic disassembly. That should fix any sticking problems you have or, or any of that miserable stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps. Leave a comment or don't like it or dislike it and uh, it's the inside of your lens